Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to the Bugs Life Action Game. Oh boy, today... Today we're in for a doozy of a level. So I mentioned last time Cliffside is kind of the intro to a bunch of these really tough levels, which is kind of the, just the rest of the game. Well, Cliffside was a lot easier than I remember, but this level... Today, today we're doing Riverbed Canyon, which is a very infamous level. Basically... This is really the point where the game stops messing around and it's like, okay, have fun now. This level is huge and difficult and a giant maze, essentially. So if you're trying to get to the end of the level, you're in for a pretty big challenge. <laughs> but if you're trying to 100% this level, it quickly turns into what might be the toughest level in the whole game. And I'm, I'm not actually exaggerating about that. This level is a nightmare to 100%. And guess what we have to do today? We're going to try to 100% this bad boy. So oh, let's, let's just get started, shall we? Trust me, Flick, you are not okay. Not for long. Level 5, Riverbed Run. Find your way out of the riverbed maze. So I actually have a love-hate relationship with this level. In terms of just getting to the end, I think it's actually a really well-done level, and it's actually pretty fun. It's also got amazing music. But if you're trying to 100% it, it quickly becomes incredibly unfair. Yeah! Big red rocks. That is true. So welcome to Riverbed Canyon. This whole level is going to be very difficult. Oh, whoa! What was that? Well, will you look at that? So there's a mega homing berry in that eggshell. Um, I saw Flick slide uh, onto the camera frame. Stop volunteering. There's the F up there, and another telescope here. So that's where I need to go. So this is a very, very large and long level. We got canyon beetles, bees are back. Am I there yet? Oh, Flick, you're not even remotely close to being there yet. The problem is everything on this level looks the same, hence it being a giant maze. These are horse flies. Horse flies you actually can defeat with the red berries, but boy, howdy, do they take a lot of hits to do so. Oh, yeah! This isn't all it was cracked up. Oh, yeah! Ooh, that's gonna leave a stink. So we got a health plant here, and unfortunately we got to get rid of it, because we're going to need this seed. This level involves a lot of carrying seeds across very long stretches, which is not super fun. But the real tricky part of this level is getting... Why did it have to be mosquitoes? One of the real tricky parts of this level is getting the golden berry. Like, if you, if you can get the golden berry on this level, holy cow, you are skilled at the game and you are blessed. Oh. I did not see that ledge there. But we still need the seed. We need to drop the seed on the ledge. I really like the music on this level. And we got the F, which is nice. The F and the K are very easy. It's either the I or the L that's in an incredibly difficult to reach spot. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. I'm gonna try to have fun, though. suckers. <laughs> Flick also talks a lot on this level. A lot. There are also a bunch of enemies, as you can probably see. I believe there are the maximum amount, 50 enemies on this level. Oh, maybe we don't need the seed over here. Oh, fun. Super Berry. I have to get the Super Berry. Well, I don't have to, but I want to. Because I don't, I do not want to lose out on the Mega Homing Berry power up, nor the Gold Berry power up. Yeah, this level is just a bunch of carrying seeds and dropping them. And here's an, uh, an annoying gimmick: you've got these cracks in the ground, and the game is not exactly great on registering your jumps at all times. Like so I pushed the jump button, but it didn't make me jump. So that's annoying. Crossing the riverbed. Yeah. This you got the weird, I don't know what it does, checkpoint thing. We remember this eggshell? So the first free berry power-ups are all really close to the beginning, which is nice. So now we're going to have to oh, make a homing berry for the, basically the rest of the level. Because the gold berry is probably going to be the last thing that we get. Oh, it's going to be fun. 
All right, so this is the way I think we're supposed to go. But I'm pretty sure we're going to need the second... Yeah, nope. we're going to need the second green token. Oh, come on. <laughs> I agree, Flick. That guy has spawned out of nowhere. Mosquitoes. Why did it have bye to bye, be mosquitoes? Nice one. Am I there yet? Flick, you, you got to stop talking and saying, or, am I there yet? You're not, you're not going to be there for, like, a half hour at least. The L... Good luck getting the L. Well, will you look at that? I was looking at the L, dude. This isn't all it was cracked up to be. Flick is like has been gone for like five minutes, and he's already like, "This is the worst. I want to go home." Nice one. Oh yeah. So this is one of the gimmicks on the level. These giant um, squares in the middle of a path that you can climb up. Doesn't sound so bad, except a lot of them will have gaps. Green, green, green. Oh, actually, hang on. The L is not going to be that bad to get. Never mind. It's the gold berry yeah, that is going to be bad. Ow! Okay, so these are daddy long legs. Daddy long legs is kind of annoying. They got a lot of HP and they can shoot webs at you. So we're going to need to basically, once we get the propeller plant, come back here, carry a seed all the way up to the top of here in order to get the L. That's not going to be that bad. It's just going to need some, require some patience. Note to self, stop volunteering. Looks like volunteering opportunities are the worst. All right, cool. Just picking up grain here. Yeah. This I can use. This is, yeah, we're gonna need to find the propeller plant in order to get up higher there, or maybe something else. Am I there yet? Oh yeah. This is an annoying part. You'll get these green pods that fall from the sky. That contain spike balls. That will hurt you. Oh, that's gonna leave a stain. This isn't all it was backed up to be. I probably should not have done that. Yeah, also there are gonna be parts where you have to actually drop a seed across this gap. I'm not sure if it's uh, drop or you blow it with right. a propeller. And I believe if you accidentally drop it off the cliff, the seed's just gone and doesn't come back. not good. Okay, golden berries up there, and you're about to see why it is so freaking annoying to get. Might be the toughest challenge in the game, is getting the golden berry on this level. Okay, we got the next level up for the green plant, though, so we can actually use that to go forward in the level. Okay, so why is the gold berry so annoying to get? Well, you, there's one of these platforms in the middle here again, as you can see. Unfortunately, it requires a seed to get up to the first part of it. So you're gonna need like a propeller plant in order to blow it, or oh, because you can't. I don't think you can drop a seed up there. Right there yet. But it gets even worse than that, because as you can see, there are these gaps around the corners. So it requires you using uh, propeller plants to just blow it up to the top. And these are some very, very precise propeller blows you need to do. Flick, how are you missing the centipede? It is right in front of you, and you have the mega homing bear. Yeah, have, have fun getting bye the gold bye, berry. Buggy. I am not looking forward to that. Oh, yeah. I managed to 100% this level when I was a young child, and I have no idea how I did it. It is incredibly difficult. Oh, thankfully we get the health plant, though. That will help. Big red rock. So I believe with the level two or the level three green plant we can get up to the top here. Yes, indeed. So we're kind of approaching the end of the actual level, which is nice. But as you can see, we're not even. Oh, hi. We're not even close to getting everything. Is there a way to get up here without needing a seed? I wonder. There yet. No flick, you aren't. Please stop asking that in the whiniest voice possible. Ow. This isn't all it was cracked up to be. 
Bye bye, buggy. Ooh, there's just stuff that's trying to kill you everywhere. Ouch. Crossing the river. Thankfully, there are a lot of seeds on this level that you can take advantage of. Which is good, because I believe they can fall off a cliff and never be seen again. Nice one. Oh, the grain harvester. Not that that'll really be all that useful. Oh, yeah. Big red but as you can see, this whole thing is just a giant maze, and it's hard to tell which... Okay, so it hooks up towards that way. So no need to bring a seat over to where the centipede was. Here's another central platform that you gotta climb up, and if it has the eye on top... Nope then the eye is also incredibly difficult to get. And I believe the eye is on top. Especially when they've got these dumb spike balls falling that you can't dodge when you're climbing. Okay, we got the last, uh, we got the highest hey, level green, green. green seed. It's an incredibly tall plant that you can climb up to the top via leaves. We're gonna need it to get out of here. Yeah, this I can use. Ooh, the shield. That could be useful. Oh, sure enough, the eye. The eye is incredibly difficult to get. The eye and the golden barrier are the toughest parts of this level. Hi K. Okay. This isn't all it was cracked up. That's the wrong way. Now that we have the highest level green plant, we can go to the exit. And we actually do want to go towards the exit, just bye so we don't actually buddy. leave the level. So we get this nice, giant, like, ro uh, rosebud plant that we can climb all the way up to the top, oh, yeah. and we have the K. Uh, so this is the last the area. Ah, uh, doggone the stupid spike plants. So the last piece of grain is up here, so that's nice. Then if we hit this telescope... Well, will you look at that? It's the gold berry. Oh, come on! Big red I do not like these randomly falling uh, spike plants. So we can get the propeller plant if we climb up to the top of that. And trust me, we're going to need that. So that's everything for this area. Dodging the spikes is even tougher when you have to carry a seed, which massively reduces your speed. Note to self, stop volunteering. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to get that gold berry. The sooner we get the gold berry, the better. Am I there yet? Ah! Well, the funny thing was, Flick, you were there, but I decided you weren't going to leave. It's important not to take the seeds too far back in the level. Because if you do that, hi! If you do that, you can't get them back. Up to the higher parts. All right. Gold berry is this way. Oh no, 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 no. I wish I could save state. It's a little bit narrower. Is there another seed around here? Oh yeah! Because I really don't want to have to try to drop the seed across the gap. That would be horrible. Oh hey, it's it's levitating. Yeah! Oh my gosh, okay. I think you need a bit of a running start, which is nerve-wracking, because one wrong button press, and you are plummeting into that uh, pit. Alright, please I'm tell me I can just drop yet. it up to the top. I sure as cuss can't. Oh boy. Well, I got one seat across. So now I have to get the other seat across. Wish me luck, everyone out there in YouTube land. Alright, oh no. Okay, cool, okay. At least if you drop the, the seat down the cliff. Okay, that's a good touch. This isn't a 
it'll respawn either right next to the cliff or it'll respawn in the place where its origin spawn is. Okay. So thankfully this seed starts right next to the first one of these. So if you so I recommend taking this one second so you can use this seed as a propeller to get it across the first gap. Big red rock. Damn it. The problem is I don't want to I don't want cliff er, cliff I don't want Flick to fall in the gap. I have six lives, but it's not a lot. Okay, maybe I don't need the running to start. Stop volunteering. The music is the only thing that is cheering me on at this point. Okay. I there wow. Yet? I am astonished I was able to do that. Okay. Bye bye, buddy. <laughs> all right, we're gonna, we're gonna try a little something. I'm wondering. This isn't all it was cracked up to be. Can I use this propeller to blow the seed into this seed, which I'm also going to make into a pro propeller to blow it all the way up to the top? Because if I could do that, that would make my job a lot easier. And that would actually be pretty cool if that's what you have to do. Okay, you. All right, well, you know what? That's good. I like that. Now, if the camera would work out... Okay, yeah, this is where it gets annoying. This is where carrying seeds gets very annoying and dropping them into propellers, because if it hits the wall, it's going to bounce off and fall back down. So I mentioned that dropping seeds onto the propellers is incredibly annoying. This is the level I was thinking of. Stop volunteering. Oh, 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 oh! Get out of here. I got the golden berry. There are 51 enemies on this level. I don't remember there ever be being more than 50. Well, now we get, at least now that when we backtrack, we're able to destroy everything. So there's that. I believe there's a centipede uh, up here. Crossing the river bend. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? No, not really. Yep, centipede up here. Oh. Centipedes are so easy to miss. Okay, well, if I can do a double propeller all the way up to the top, that would be great. Big so I mentioned Goldberry is the toughest thing to get in the game. It's actually not. The eye on this level is probably the toughest thing to get in the game. Wait, why did I do that? I'm supposed to be murdering them with the gold berry. Stop volunteering. Have to wait for him to respawn. Oh yeah! So I guess if you bring a seed back too far, you actually could throw it down a cliff and it would respawn later on in the level. I wouldn't try that just in case something glitchy happens. Guess it must be mosquito season. This is cracked up to be. He's like it must be mosquito season. I haven't seen a mosquito around, honestly. That helps. Actually, did I look in this telescope? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay, well, this level's going a bit smoother than I was expecting. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Crossing the river bend. So now we just need one seed in order to carry it up to the top. Mosquitoes. Why did it have to be mosquito red? Oh, yeah. oh, there's one mosquito over there. That helps. Okay, there's, so there's a gap there. I don't want to take a seat across the gap, so I'll have to go over this way. Note to self. Stop volunteering. You, you'll do. Gotta bring the seat over this way. 
So thankfully the L is actually pretty easy to get. You just need one seed and you can actually physically carry it all the way up to the top. <laughs> Unless I'm mistaken, I think the I, you need to also carry it up to the top, but there will be gaps in the pathway, so you'll need to strategically place propeller plants below and hope that it blows them in just the right way up to the top. This isn't all it was cracked up to be. Flick, what were you expecting? Flick's like, oh, this will be great. I'll get to eat at Pizza Hut, and I'll stay in five-star hotels. And then he's like, wait, I have to walk? This is the worst. No! <laughs> I, come on! I thought for sure that, that was low Crossing down enough. The river bed. I would just like to give a shout out to everybody who has played this game and got 100% on this level. You are a superstar. There we go. Hey, Daddy Long Legs. Alright. So now we just have to defeat the rest of the enemies and get the eye. So we're pretty close. Well, I say that, but who knows how long the eye is going to take to get. Am I there yet? Bye bye, Buggy. Yeah! Nice ass! Gotcha! Ooh, that's gonna be the same. Yeah! Gotcha! Plus Thankfully, the enemies are clustered together, so there are a few that are just like gotcha. hiding. The only ones that really do that are the centipedes. Oh, yeah! This isn't all it was cracked up to be. Anybody here? Nope. Okay. Man, they just put a whole bunch of enemies in this level. They're like, hey, let's just throw enemies everywhere to make your life miserable. And they're like, you're getting a raise. Everyone's going to look back and remember in how fond <laughs> fondly how hard this level was. I, just, I feel like this level, though, is a huge difficulty spike. Like, this is way harder than the next level is. Then again, the next level is also a boss level, so that's part of it. Now, I just better not trigger the first bonus stage again, and I'll be okay. There's no way I'll trigger the other two, but if I trigger the first bonus stage, that could be problematic. It will, that will be problematic. It'll erase all my progress on this level. And I don't want to have to do any of this level again. Alright. Had to go back and kill that guy. I remembered. Come on! Oh yeah! Am I there yet? Oh yeah! I killed an enemy up there. Hi! I have nine enemies left. Alright. Oh yeah! This isn't all it was cracked up to be. Right, nice. Centipede oh, one. Yeah. And centipede nice. two. And daddy won't legs. Five enemies left. And the eye. Oh boy. I think I've only gotten the eye once in my life. Ah, I hate that! <laughs> I hate how they can just dump right next to you. Big red rocks. Bye bye, buggy. Oh yeah! Not sure which enemy I killed. Wait, what killed me? I genuinely am confused. What the heck I'm killed me? There yet. I'm gonna have to look back at <laughs> in editing to see what the heck killed me, because I swear there was nothing there. Oh, okay, last two enemies are up going up here.
You know, I might as well, might as well just go up and take him out manually so I can avoid as much conflict as possible. I swear I remember there just being 50 enemies on this level, but clearly not, because this is even the version of the game that I played when I was a kid. I played the PC version. Cool, enemy token. Wow, we got the enemy token not last. That rarely happens. The river Usually goes grain first, then flick letters, and then uh, enemy token. Or sometimes we get the flick token first. But this time, no. This time we're getting the flick token last. Alright. So, this is not fun to get. We need to find a way to get a seed, one seed, up to the top of this. So generally this is going to mean using propellers. But also, because of the way the landscape is shaped, and the imprecise camera, this is very difficult to do. Especially since... I hate that. Am I there yet? Camera! You suck! <laughs> Yeah, one annoying fiend, you'll see. This isn't all it was okay, you know what? Forget this. I, I, I'm not playing up with this. I'm gonna, blow, I'm gonna put the seed here. I'm gonna blow it up like this. But not blow it up in the way you're thinking. I mean, like, literally use the wind to blow it upwards. Crossing the river bend. Success? Question mark? Where did it go? Where did it go? Wait, how did it get over there? <laughs> Big red. Yeah, as you can see, blowing seeds is not precise. Okay, so that... Don't tell me this isn't going to work. It definitely goes up high enough, so maybe I'll just move this back a bit. Note to Stop volunteering. Alright, moved it back a bit. Let's see if it'll blow it up now. Oh, I think it slipped off. Yeah, it slipped off. Yeah, see, it's sloped up there. So even if the seed lands on top, it could just slide right off again. Alright, 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 alright. Okay. But unfortunately, I don't think we're out of the woods just yet. No. What happened? This isn't all it was cracked up to be. Oh, that's baloney. Okay, well, new plan. Can I just blow it up higher? Like, if I bring this seed over this way, can I blow it up even higher so we can avoid that second gap? Because I was expecting to need more than just two seeds to do this. Yeah, this level, if you don't hate dropping seeds onto propellers to blow them upwards, you'll hate it by the end of this. <laughs> the things I do to spell your name, Flick. And your name is short. Big. His name was Aloysius Zimmerfloss. We'd be in real trouble. Oh, yes! Okay. That's not as tough as I remember it being, but that's still really annoying. Alright! That is everything on Riverbed Canyon. Let's go to the exit and get out of here before we... <laughs> before we go to a bonus game by accident. Good riddance, Riverbed Canyon. I like you, casually, oh, hate yeah. you for 100%, though. Never too much grain. F-L-I-K spells flick. That's me. Well, all right. Yes, haha. <laughs> oh, yeah. We did it, and we have earned this bonus movie clip. Savor it. Grab your popcorn and savor this. Okay.
Okay, that, yeah, that, that was not worth it. <laughs> oh, well. Maybe it'll be worth it in the long run. So that's Riverbed Canyon. The next level is Bird Nest. It's the boss of the Riverbed world. That's what we'll do next time. Bird Nest is a significantly longer and more challenging level than the Council Chamber was, so that'll probably take up the whole video. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.